Hi guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I wanted to kind of make this video a catch up video. I wanted to sit down with you guys and like I said, catch up because I don't think we've had a catch up in a long time. I want to kind of talk about a lot of random things. So I don't know what to title this video. It's going to be very, very random. Uh, I just want to kind of give, you know, an opportunity for us to kind of catch up one on one because I don't feel like I've actually been inspired that much lately to make to make kind of sit down videos, not make videos in general. But I think you have to kind of be in the moment. You have to be in the groove to make these kind of videos. So we're doing a lot of mukbangs lately and I want to kind of take it back to the beginning where, you know, uh, in the beginning where we had we kind of have these kind of sit down Fabio chat videos. And I keep thinking something's outside, but they're not. And I ha also have a handful of assumptions. Now, there's not many because I put the, the question in the community tab yesterday. So I have a few. And today I'm filming, the next day. And um, I, uh, and also, uh, there's a very highly requested topic that you want me to talk about. And it's me talking to you about my YouTube journey and how I got here and all that jazz. So... How's everyone today? Are you all having a good day? Like, how are you feeling? I kind of had a bit of a weird kind of anxiety kind of moment this morning. I was kind of getting ready and I was just so overwhelmed with emotions, things I have to do. I had to kind of take myself out of the situation. And it's like the first time I've really done that. I've really, really just thought to myself, you know what, to take yourself out of the equation. And I had to sit outside and got my thoughts together. I feel better now, but it was really, really kind of overpowering. Like, you know, when you get such a surge of emotions in your in your brain, it was really hard for me to kind of get over that. So I'm OK now. I hope you guys are all great and ready for this kind of catch up. How is your kind of new year? Not new year. How's your January going? I can't believe we're nearly in the middle of January now. And I just can't believe it. Like, it was Christmas yesterday, it feels like to me. Even, like, Spain feels like a lifetime away. But, you know, it wasn't that long ago. But, yeah, it's, you know, this year, I really want to make it about us and, you know, talking to each other and, you know, having more of an interaction with each other. I have been on a live, on many lives, actually, because Chris has been away and I've been communicating with you guys and I've been really vibing with you. I've been singing and, you know, dancing and... Um, we've had such a laugh and I really liked, I really would like to know you guys on more of a personal kind of level like that. So, um, I hope you kind of, you know, have seen a bit more of an insight into my life on these lives, you know, and I will be going live more often, but a bit less now because Chris is back, but I will make it a priority to go live because I really, really love every single one of you and, you know, your kind donations as well on the lives means so much to me, guys. Really, really does. It really helps. Uh, as you know, YouTube is kind of, um, what do you call it? It's not doing me very good at the minute, but we're going to get over it. We're going to get past it. My arm feels really weird. I've got like a really, my bone feels funny here. I don't know what it is. It feels really like, you know, when you've got like, I don't know, it feels, I don't know, do I look okay? Do you know what it feels like, um, like your nerves going? Also wanted to address the hair touching thing. I've had a few comments about this on my videos. And I know I addressed it uh, on one of my videos, but I really don't have the, a problem with it. Like, I'm the one that's eating the food and I'm very, very clean and very, very sanitary and very, very hygienic. And my hair is always clean. And I don't touch my food with my hands. You know, I'll be eating something. Sometimes, no, actually, that's wrong. Yeah, like I was eating some hot dogs. Yeah, I do. But I don't see a problem with like touching my hands afterwards. You know, it's, I'm very, very hygienic. And I really don't understand how, why it bugs a lot of you. Because it seems to bug a, bug a lot of you. But I respect that if it does. Probably need to do more videos with my hair tied back, I think. And kind of, you know, you know, I don't know. Like, just get something like above my head so I don't have to, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to try, but... I really don't think it's that much of an issue because um, my hair is really, really sick of it. I've just straightened it and washed it, so it's looking very, very um, shit. 
yeah, I don't really have an issue with it. But if you guys do and it gets you down, don't watch. Do you know what I mean? But like I said, I will, I'll be making a conscious decision to kind of stop that. Um, what else have I got to say? Oh, my God. Always someone outside when I film. I hate it. So am I too close, guys, or not? I don't know. So, yeah, um, this year, I don't know what it is about this year. I have been feeling, like I said, very uninspired not to make mukbangs, but to make these kind of videos. I feel a bit lost. And I think everyone does in January. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel a bit like I've got a bit of the January blues. Um, I feel very kind of... The situation with YouTube is very, very stressful. And I feel... I'm very, very worried about how I'm going to support myself. You know, Chris is very, very helpful, but I feel like, I'm going to be honest with you guys, you know the deal by now. And I, that's really, really stressing me out. And I feel a bit of, like I'm just going through the motions a bit. I need to kind of get a grip of my life again. I feel, and I feel you guys help me so much and you love me and unconditionally and you, you're the messages, the the outpour of messages that I get from you guys is unbelievable. You guys are just absolutely amazing. And I love you so, so much. I really, like, if I could read, if you, like, let me know in the comments below if you want, if you give me permission to um, add these comments out. Because I would love to read them out to you guys because they're so amazing. And they mean such a lot to me. And they make me feel so happy. Oh, my rings are like facing the other way. And so that really helps me. But I don't know. I've just been feeling a bit like I'm just don't know where I'm coming or going, if I'm honest, guys. So that's annoying. Um, but we're going to get through it, guys. You know, it's just I think it's the high from Christmas and then going down to like, you know, that then, you know, transferring to January. So everyone's a bit like, oh, God, you know, what what now? But. I hate, I hate it when everyone goes, 2020, we're going to make it our year. Oh, my God. Like, yeah, I believe in that. But I believe any year you can make your year. So I'm not going to go and sit here and be like, oh, my God, 2020, bitch. Ow, baby. Like, no, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to make this year my year just because I want to do good things in this year. I want to do good videos. I want to push the envelope. I want to, you know, we're doing so well. We're at nearly 10,600 subscribers where we are smashing it. So we're going to continue to do that. So, yeah, I feel like someone's watching me. So, yeah, um, yeah, basically, I just wanted to kind of, I do want to thank you guys. I've had such a good time on the lives, uh, on these lives, and you give me so much information of what you want me to do next, because I think it's very, very important that I find out what you want me to do, because at the end of the day, you watch me, and it's important that you are happy with my content. So, moving on. The next topic I want to talk about is why I have done YouTube, why I am, um, you know, I think I've touched it. I've touched on this on, because um, I've not really made a YouTube video about how, why, you know, I'm really struggling with what to title this video, guys. So give me some ideas. Anyway, I'll probably have it as like untitled 20 or something, you know, like when you don't title the video. So I have talked about this in my um podcast with BBC and on the Jennifer Zamparelli show last year. Last year? Can't believe it. Um, but, oh my, I can't see it. Look at the assumptions here as well. I thought it was in the lounge, but it's not. I will be pulling them up later on. I started YouTube because last year I was in a very, very bad place. I had lost a lot of friends. I was struggling with a lot of anxiety with work. And I, do you know what I thought to myself? I really want to do this. And my friend I was working with as well, she had started YouTube. I think it was a week before me. And we both said to each other, we, shall we do YouTube? Because we really enjoy it. And we were both kind of doing it at the same time. So that gave me a lot of kind of courage to make YouTube videos as well. The camera shut off. Um, so... I remember I didn't want to get judged because I thought, you know what, if I put myself on YouTube, I'm going to get judged. I didn't like the idea of people having my videos and um, doing what they want with them. You know, when I remember when my videos were kind of getting viral, I think it was um, 
it was, a, I'm touching my hair again. It was a website called Internet Hellscape that kind of put my video out there. And I thank you that person so much because even though it was a cringe fest mukbang and I am in a lot of them, it really helped me to um, be known a bit more with you guys. And what what really worried me, I remember actually, I was, in a, I was in a hotel with my friend when the video went live and my subscribers were going up and up and up. And I thought, I looked at the comments and I was just horrified, so horrified with the comments. And that was what I was worried about when I was start, before I made YouTube was how, you know, that's what stopped me initially. Like the comments I'm going to get, what am I going to do? You know, they won't be deleted. It was that fear of having the comments out there and you, you can do nothing about it. Now I don't give a shit. I love it. I think negativity gives you more attention. But before it was worrying me and that's what stopped me. So what kind of gave me the push was I thought to myself, I want, I need to do this because I'm very creative. I was 27 and I thought I've not done anything creative in my life. I've done something that really depresses me and I was still doing it. Uh -huh. And I thought, you know what? This is my last shot really to kind of get creative and do something that I really, really enjoy. So I remember doing the 30 second video and I was so nervous, guys. I was just so out of my depth. I was just, I remember doing the video 50 times. It was so bad. And it was the worst video I've ever done. I looked like the grudge and I looked scary. I looked horrible. That was not me. I was just going through a very, very bad stage of just trying to strip back um, with makeup. I was, you know, trying to, I don't know, I was just not me because for a, for a few years prior, I was, you know, I had grey hair, I was edgy, and I, I completely lost myself, guys, if I'm honest. But now, oh my god, I was actually wearing a black t-shirt like this, wasn't I? Oh, great. Um, sorry, let me just add some more lipstick. Okay. But now, um, looking back, it's the best thing I've ever done. Because I didn't realise it would... For a long time, my YouTube success wasn't overnight, guys. It wasn't. I must say that to you guys. I felt very discouraged. It was a long, long, long struggle to get where I am today. And I'm glad I did it because I was also going through a lot of mental illness. I was going through an eating disorder. I was going through OCD. I was going through so much. Um, trying to kind of make sense of my life again because I kind of lost myself along the way you know, with kind of drinking, going out. And so that kind of was what made me get onto YouTube. And the success I've had ever since, you know, I'm not going to lie, it's been scary. It's been so scary to put myself out there on the internet and to people have me judge, you know, to people judge me. But I think it's helped me develop a very, very thick skin on YouTube because I now don't give a shit who or what anyone says to me about me and I did for a long time um because it's just internet trolls they don't they've got nothing better to do and at the end of the day my hair you're giving me revenue whether you like it or not post a good or a bad comment it's the same thing so it's for me keep on doing it I actually like negative comments because it attracts people to your page and if someone sees a negative comment they're gonna you know follow the video through and it's all that kind of cycle so I really like that. I think it's, you know, I have no problem with it. And yeah, so I feel that was what scared me about doing YouTube. But do you know what? It's the best thing I've ever done. And I think it has definitely, it's definitely given me confidence. I think it's made me feel like I'm not alone. And the the, the, the support from you guys has re reinformed, re what do you call it, reconfirm that I'm a good person because for a long time, I didn't feel like I was. You know, when you feel so negative about yourself, you don't feel like a good person, do you? The downside of kind of YouTube, I think, and it comes and it's very bittersweet because it it's relieved my mental health, but then in some ways it's triggered it off because the worry, it, it's a constant worry. I find, I'm very because I have a very kind of, and I'm, I've, I suffer from anxiety, you know, making the videos. What do I do? What food do I buy? How much money have I got to buy this? And it's very stressful to get, especially, you know, muck, muck banging. I think it's very hard. People say it's easy, but it's not because you have to put 
your investment, your money into that to get it back. And as you've heard from me going on, YouTube aren't giving it back to me. <laughs> well, some videos they are, some videos they aren't. So, but I think January is, I've heard, I've heard that January YouTube doesn't pay. So I think that's what I'm going to go by. But since I kind of went on holiday in December, I've been completely kind of um, just disregarded because I had a week off and I think I'm still paying for that now today. So um, it, it does kind of make my anxiety, it does like kind of spark it off because I'm worried. I don't want to sit here and say I'm, you know, first world problems, I'm worried about putting a video out, but it's stressful. You know, if you, sometimes if, if your video doesn't do well, I take it personal, I don't know about anyone else, but I feel like, oh my God, no one wants to watch me. And it could all, it could just be about the algorithm, you know, it might not even be about, you know, how the video, how, what the video is about. So there's a lot of factors in YouTube that contribute against a negative kind of mental health mindset, I think. But the overall, you guys outbalance it. You, you just make me so happy, guys. And really really inspired to make videos i feel like i'm like reading a, like i'm doing a presentation or something oh my god breathe i think I, i've not actually caught a breath since i've spoken so yeah that was that's kind of why i've done youtube and why i feel inspired to make videos and yeah sorry i am getting a bit annoyed with my hair now <laughs> i need to just chop it off don't i um but you know you guys really inspire me, like I said. You make me so happy. And without you guys, I would not be here. I want to talk to you about some assumptions that you made about me. So let's get going. Now, I won't say your names because you might not want me to. But I have a few. And the first one is no assumptions. I'm just grateful I found your wonderful channel. Thank you for always keeping me company. Well, thank you. Always stay as a sweet and always stay as sweet and, lo and lovely as you are. Huge hugs. So thank you. Who You know who you are who sent, that, sent me that comment. Thank you. And, you, you know, no, if you want to kind of put yourself out in the comments and to, you know, to let me know that, let everyone know that you made that comment, please do so. But I love you so much. And thank you for that beautiful assumption. Um, well, not assumption, but, you know, it's kind of a statement, which is, I really appreciate that. Thank you. The next one is, I feel assume that you like to stay at home because you're an introvert. But once you get out, you are the life of the party. I love you, Fabio. Oh my God, thank you. Bang on. You are bang on with that. I feel, right now in my life, I don't know why, but I feel very kind of, I don't want to go out. I feel like I'm very much, I don't know. My life isn't the best it's not 100 percent, guys and i think it's to do with a lot of, a lot of kind of troubles i've had in the past this year last year that i will talk about you know later when i can but um i do feel like i can't i feel like yes i went out with my friend and it was the best thing i ever did but i felt so on edge about going out i felt so worried and so stressed out but i did it and um I felt so much better for it because I felt like I was the old me again. I've kind of got myself into a little rut. I think with my, I think YouTube also, YouTube is a good, amazing thing to do, but it's also very lonely because you're doing everything on your own. So I think that's what's kind of made me a bit more kind of introverted, but I'm very much not an extrovert. I'm very, very loud, very, very bubbly, but I feel recent events have made me kind of, kind of, pull myself in again but I will get out there and part of this year is pushing the boundaries um and making a change and I'm working every day to you know like yesterday was a big thing for me you know to everyone else that you might be like oh my god what's well, not a big deal but for someone who doesn't you know who feels very who just doesn't like to go out who's very much I feel like I have my kind of comfort bubble at home and it's very very sad but you might all, some of you that will, will understand what I'm talking about. For you to go out the house and do something with a friend, it's kind of a big deal. So, but then again, I've always been kind of a loner. Not a loner, but people to me, especially as I got older. When I was younger, I was very much everyone's best friend. But as you get older, you realise that 
your company is, is the most important and I'm not, this sounds snobby, but I don't want to give myself out to everyone because I know people's intentions aren't good. And you, you, you learn that as the older you get. So I want to give myself to people who deserve me. And if it means I'm on my own, not having any friends, then so be it. Because I love being on my own and, you know, knowing who I am as a person. And I feel like the older you get, you haven't got time for people's bullshit. So I'm not going to be a fake friend. I'm going to be friends with, I have two best friends, two friends in this world that I can count as best friends, two. And that's all I need because no, everyone else was background noise. I got rid of them last year and they were bad for me. And it's the best thing I've done. And you know what? <coughs> Goodbye. I don't care anymore. And I've realised that they were negative, toxic people. And right now, I'm happy with having two friends. You know, even if it was one friend, I don't care. Because it's the quality, not quantity. And like I said before, I'd rather much be on my own than be with fake people. So... Next one is, I'm going to assume you, you're insecure or have been in your life. Of course, I'm very insecure. That goes with kind of um, past experiences and uh, very insecure. Yeah, very, very, very insecure. But I think everyone is. Everyone has their kind of triggers. But I'm trying to work on it. Like I said, it's a working project, you know, progress, being insecure. And some days I'm better than others, but you definitely... You like to party, let your hair down and have a good night out with your friends. Of course, I used to love partying, guys. I used to love it. So, yes, partying is like everything. Well, it was. But now I'm much more happy, like I said, YouTube, something to eat and just relaxing. You don't have many friends, love you. I don't have two. Two, not four. You eat a lot healthier off camera. Yes, I do. I actually have a salad. I try to every day. Every day of the week I have a salad because I love salads. I love salads. Did you, did you go to university? No, I didn't. You like animals? I'm not a huge animal lover, guys, if I'm honest. I don't mind dogs. Uh, I used to love cats, but not really. No, just weird, really. Um, I assume you have good people around you, but still feel alone a lot of the time. Yes, very much. Yeah, I feel very alone. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't matter about who you have in your life. It's how you feel inside. Like, have you heard that phrase that you you feel alone in a crowd full of people? That is so true because I feel sometimes you can feel like you're with people, but you're not. And that's yeah. I feel like at the end of the day, it sounds very cutthroat, but you only have yourself at the end of the day. And I don't know whether it's because I've been through a lot of shit and that makes you very a guarded person but i become very guarded and um yeah i feel very much like that i assume you are in a loving relationship but do spend a lot of time apart from each other yes you are right but it's not through choice chris works long hours mate sometimes 70 odd hours so when we do see each other we like value our time together we always make our time you know, important, I'll cook him dinner and we'll spend, you know, even the act of cooking dinner is, you know, intimate and lovely. So the time we do have together, we do spend, you know, together doing things. Um, I assume you'd love to be a full-time YouTuber and not just do mukbangs. Of course, that's so true. I would love to do a variety of things. Uh, this is why I asked you guys what, what you wanted to, to see me ne do next. And um, this is maybe why as well, you know, I did a coach handbag review, didn't do it very well. That's maybe why it's kind of made me feel like, mm, sit down video. So I kind of, I, I listen to you guys, literally, I listen to you guys and I, you know, value what you say to me. So that's maybe why I've had a bit of a brain block. But if you enjoy these videos, thumbs them up, guys, let me know, because I love these videos probably more than the mukbangs. Um, I assume you have expensive tastes. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. I have very expensive tastes and it's sometimes the worst thing for me, but yeah, I do. I assume you treat others how they treat you. I, yes, of course I do. I try to, sometimes I don't. I'm, you know, I'm going to hold my hands up in the air, but we all, have, we're all victims of that. But I do definitely try to, because I know what it's like to feel like a minority and to not feel worthy. worthy. Um... There is actually quite a few, isn't there? 
you are fabulous thank you so much have a terrific day doing what you do thank you so much that's so sweet i think that's the last one yeah that's the last one guys so thank you so much for watching my video it's been a bit of a brain kind of blurt was it was that a word of kind of things but i kind of wanted to sit down mainly and you know hope you know check check you guys are okay and let you know that i'm okay i'm doing well um a few setbacks but you know i'll be fine but thank you so much for watching my videos and i really really appreciate your support and your love and everything else uh, have an amazing day guys and i'll see you in my next one bye guys